Many new products help solve major and minor human problems for people or at least help to improve lifestyles by bringing convenience to society. However, the new COVID-19 vaccines have an even greater role in society to stop the spread of the deadly pandemic that has devastated the world at so many levels, from taking lives to livelihoods, causing so much stress and so much pain and uncertainty, and threatening economies. The COVID-19 vaccines represent hope and promise a great service to humanity, the chance to save lives and stop the spread of coronavirus. Yet, that has not made adoption easy or automatic as you'd expect. I'm Catherine Gaho from SBO Research. Thank you for tuning into my channel, Elevators, where we seek to offer elevating and empowering messages. In this video, I will talk about the specific characteristics that are influencing the rate of adoption for COVID-19 vaccines by the public. Experts tell us that the target of vaccination is to build community immunity, what they call herd immunity, where enough of the population would be protected from the virus and transmission would slow down significantly and stop the disease. Now, consumer research shows us that new products do not all have the same potential for adoption, even when they offer great benefit to society. Many factors will come into play in the decision by individuals to get vaccinated and by when they will get the job. Consumer behavior research shows that the adoption of a new product like these COVID-19 vaccines is spread through communication to the targeted people. Because of the nature of the public interest in the matter of this vaccine, communication to the consuming public is well controlled. Confirmation of all important information about the various brands of COVID-19 vaccines is being done by objective third parties. The information is being tested. Whatever the manufacturer's claim is being taken through a test and the communication is then handled from another source. Source credibility is a very important aspect in getting the desired response from the people. That is why we see the major role being played by global and local health organizations in assessing and approving these vaccines and even the communication that can be shared with the public. This way, the health officials have become the lead promoters of these vaccines. There is even greater influence when people see leading officials being vaccinated as this adds weight to their role as opinion leaders and role models and it gives confidence to the people about these vaccines. In Kenya, for example, the vaccination of the president and the health cabinet secretary and other health officials in public was a great game changer. It was shown on national TV and everybody got to see or hear about it. It was in pictures, it being talked about on radio and the like. And this was seen by many as adding credibility to the appeal for people to get the job as soon as possible. Research on diffusion of innovations indicates that there are five specific characteristics that will help influence people's speed of adoption of new products like the COVID-19 vaccine. These characteristics are also influenced a lot by consumer perception. The five characteristics in the context of COVID-19 vaccines can be evaluated in a certain manner. And I want to give you my opinion about how I see these characteristics as they relate to the COVID-19 vaccines. First, COVID-19 vaccines have high relative advantage. That is one of the key characteristics we look at. We can generally say that COVID-19 vaccines have a high relative advantage, even if we might say that some brands have more advantage than others. Now, relative advantage is a degree to which people perceive a new product as superior to existing alternatives. What's the alternative to the COVID vaccine? The alternative is a difficult path indeed, marked by high death rates, 
lockdown, shutdowns, curfew, loss of livelihoods, and unprecedented devastation of the health system. As such, the advantage offered by the vaccination is significant. It's notable, even at individual level, to be protected from such a devastating disease is definitely a major advantage. Now, when you consider the different vaccines, whether it's the AstraZeneca, Oxford vaccine, or Pfizer, BioNTech, Moderna, or Sputnik, some do have some advantages over others. And these are seen particularly in relation to the major questions that people are asking about the vaccine. People are asking questions about the efficacy. They're asking questions about the nature of expected side effects and the number of doses required. Therefore, from an overall basis, we can agree on the assessment of a high relative advantage. And this is a positive factor for quick adoption. The second characteristic is high compatibility. The question would ask here is to what extent are the vaccines compatible with people's present needs, values, and practices? Or maybe let me restate it. You could ask yourself, to what extent do the vaccines fit with your current needs, values, and practices? This is the question that tests compatibility. And this characteristic of compatibility considers the degree to which the targeted people feel that the vaccine is consistent with their own needs and values. The resistance to wearing masks and social distancing for some people, which has been going on for a while, even against the risk of the pandemic, was related to the perceived lack of compatibility with people's normal practices, values, and lifestyles. Now, the acceptance of the vaccine by many who are queuing in large numbers to get vaccinated is related to the fact that it's compatible with their value for health, well-being, and there is a sense of urgency where people feel the need to get out of this situation where we are getting locked down here, open here, locked down again, and the like. Uh, based on that information, I would rate the COVID-19 vaccines as high on compatibility, which is a positive factor for quick adoption. The third factor is complexity. And I would uh, suggest that these vaccines have high complexity. Many people agree that the COVID-19 vaccines present a lot of complexity. Complexity relates to the degree to which the information about a new product is difficult to understand. This affects acceptance and partly explains the resistance to these vaccines in certain groups and especially in the early stages of vaccination rollout. This is normal for vaccines because it's indeed a complicated product. Even the old vaccines that have been given for years have faced resistance, even some up to this day. Some people are finding it hard to understand how these vaccines work, how to assess the trade-off between risk of side effects and the benefits, you know, how to balance, and so on. The other complexity is seen in terms of the fact that you need to continue wearing masks and practicing social distance even after being vaccinated. The element of complexity is also notable when attempting to gain acceptance for complicated medical products, especially that involve injections. In my research company, SBO Research, we have done some research work around the question of consumer attitudes towards injections. That was for a client from the pharmaceutical industry. Now, people approach getting a jab with some form of apprehension. I don't know about you, but many people are like, you know, concerned about having to be jabbed with an injection. And additionally, medical innovations have been found over the years to have inherent complexity and a high need for learning. And that's why there are so many questions. And this means that there is need for people to be provided with answers to all the questions that they are asking. And because of all that, I would rate the COVID-19 vaccine as high in complexity, which is a negative characteristic for quick adoption. Now, the fourth factor is trial ability. This is another characteristic that complicates the quick uptake of the vaccine in that 
this is not something you can try first in a small way and then decide whether to use or not. No, you have to go all the way. You have to get the job. Triability is a degree to which a new product is easy to try in a small way, like in a sample before full commitment. There is no such opportunity with the vaccine. You have to get the job. No room for trial. Research shows that trial is a key feature for stimulating adoption because it reduces the perceived risk associated with newness. Therefore, given all that, I would rate the COVID-19 vaccine as low in trial ability, which is a negative characteristic for quick adoption. The fifth and final point is observability. This point considers the degree to which this point considers the degree of social visibility of the vaccine. Observability or visibility is the extent to which the vaccine or the benefit that it delivers can be observed with the eye or can be imagined or described to potential users. A high degree of social visibility would help increase the speed of adoption of the vaccine. This is because research shows that imitation plays an important role in the adoption of new products. People may wait to see how their influencers will act towards these vaccines. Given all that, I would therefore rate this vaccine as medium on, for this characteristic of observability. Mainly because, mainly because, although they cannot observe how it works inside the body, they can be able to see the cues of those going for the vaccination and communication can be used effectively to explain the demand and the uptake. Actually, in the media, I have seen that they are showing pictures of people waiting in queues to be jabbed. And in actual fact, to overcome the issue of observability, the President of Kenya and the First Lady, as well as senior public officials, took the vaccine under the glare of cameras and the pictures were broadcasted nationally. This is an attempt to address this question of observability. And this helped overcome some of the concerns regarding visibility and served to overcome doubts that many people had. And this has helped to speed up the uptake of the vaccines tremendously. Furthermore, the increasing number of vaccine seekers are being documented daily. Globally, reports by our world data say that over, six, say that over 649 million doses had been administered by last week. This information adds value to the visibility by sharing the information of how many doses, how many people have been vaccinated and the like. This seems to add value and can help make a big difference and get benefit from the contagion effect. The concept of contagion effect where one person will tell five, five will tell another 25 and the like, and that gets many people to sort of have that kind of information. So sometimes in consumer research, we also use the word communicability in the place of observability, because it means even if it cannot be seen or observed very well, you can communicate about it. You can show demonstrations. Visibility also signifies how easy it is for those who are vaccinated to share the information with their social circles and therefore being able to encourage others. And therefore, I would rate the COVID-19 vaccine medium on this characteristic of observability because it's possible to communicate, it's possible to show, but not possible to show the insights of the workings of these vaccines. In conclusion, I rate the COVID-19 vaccine characteristics as follows. First, I rate it as high on relative advantage. Second, I rate it as high on compatibility with our values and need for survival, for life, for well-being and the like, and health. Third, I rate it high on complexity, which means it's actually a poor rating because if it's high on complexity, it's harder to understand and therefore it will take time for people to take it up as they wait to learn more about it. Fourth, I rate it as low on trial ability, which is also a negative because it means people cannot be able to try on a small basis. You have to make the decision and take the job. There is no middle ground. Number five, I rate it as medium 
on observability because of the ability to communicate about it even if you cannot be able to demonstrate its workings inside the body. To learn more about COVID-19 vaccines and get your questions answered, go to the World Health Organization website or to your country's health ministry resources. Thank you for staying with me. Do like this video and share it with two or more people who will benefit from it. Thank you and best wishes. We all need to elevate our mindset at this time.